Look at me, I'm camping. And you just start chopping. Previously on Five Dads Go Wild. I have no idea what I'm doing. Good oh, great. Oh yeah. They are canoodling. Made it to Rainbow Bridge. It's in nature. What were we thinking, Stacy? That August date seems to be more appealing all the time. Oh. Uh oh. Wreckage. What happened to Buddy there? Jesus. Moment. <laughs> <laughs> and then I then, then, and then I damn near kill myself. So this is exactly how we remember it, isn't it? What 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 what's what's so different? I, I think I think it's exactly the same. Yeah. Last time we were worried that it might rain. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we've made it to EC Manning Park here at Lone Duck One Campground, the same place we did Five Dads Go Wild last year, except this year we got snow and you can probably hear I'm a little bit out of breath from getting set up but we have all of our tents set up there so one, two, three and four but you'll notice that we're missing one because Steven's going to be here tomorrow so at least for the first night, it's four dads go wild, and then we'll have the fifth dad going wild tomorrow. But we're making here alive so far. The snow was a lot harder on our way in uh, from Hope and like through the highway and such. It seems to be letting up now, but when I checked the weather forecast before we left, over the weekend, it will get apparently as low as like minus 11 with a real feel of minus 21. So maybe it's for the best that I feel a little bit warm and out of breath right now. But let's go check out the lake. I found a wild dale. He seems to be in a rush. I believe this is what they call a nature walk. We are doing all the natures apparently. And this, I think, is called Lightning Lake. Okay, let's go home. Hey look, it's our fire pit. So, the first, there we go. The first sponsor shout out for our trip to Five Dads Go Wild goes to Altitude Sports who provided at least me, <laughs> with a Coleman air mattress, as well as a North Face sleeping bag. Thank you very much, Altitude Sports. I believe they also set up some stuff for Dale and James and so on as well. So uh, be sure to check out their blogs and Instagrams and all that for more about what they got there. So thank you very much, Altitude Sports, for making sure we are safe and comfortable for this camping trip.
So James here was responsible for our first night of supper. What does Chef James prepare for us here? A beef stew, country style. Served using the signature Fire Dad's Go Wild mug. Yeah. Into sponsor shout out Stanley, P Stanley PMI. Who Thank set you, us up, uh, With several food jars. Great for keeping this stew nice and warm in this freezing weather. Yeah, it's cold. Thank you, Stanley. And thank you, James. Welcome. It'll be fun, they said. It'll be great content, they said. Well, I guess I managed to survive the first night here for Five Dads Go Wild Part 2. It definitely was freezing. It definitely was snowing, snowing so much so that the tent that I'm staying in apparently collapsed <laughs> from the weight of the snow overnight. Stacy came over to unearth me from my collapsed igloo here. So, uh, maybe let's go see how it looks outside. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the lane. Snow is listening. No sign. We're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. In the lane. Snow is listening. Something, something. My hands are frozen. This was a great idea. It would make great content, they said. Here at Five Dads Go Wild Part 2. Oh, my fingers are frozen. My fingers are frozen. My fingers are definitely frozen. It is, it is very cold and it's definitely very snowing. I'm gonna see what's going on in our little home kitchen. Here, Stacy says he has some coffee going. And I see the fire going, that's gonna be very good. Good morning, Mr. Robinson. Good morning, Michael. Come on in, warm up. Oh. Want you a cup of coffee? I got a Stanley French press. Well, it's really dark in here. I should have brought a light. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in, I'm like, I can't see a bloody thing. There we go. I've made a French press. Uh, it's the Stanley French press. I made it with uh, Boo Boo's coffee this morning. If you want a cup, I've just finished my first cup. So, 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 so my tent was. You, it was completely flat. <laughs> I was actually legit worried that you were in there frozen to death. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Smith. Good morning. Yeah, his. Your tent didn't collapse, but it does have a fair amount of snow on it. It's on the verge. Yeah, mine collapsed. Oh, really? Stacy okay. had to come. Re re he had to come rescue me. Okay, I'm gonna come in. Don't don't move. I'm gonna actually do you a good turn here. Okay. Ah, stop! So yeah, mine it was like completely folded in on itself. Wow. <laughs> so, so when I woke up, the top of the tent was actually like on my shoulder. Yours was on the verge. I've had that with rain before. Thank you. These things here fill in, so it was like it was dipped right down. So and, and then what happens is that it just all folds in like this. It'll be fun, they said. It'll make great content, they said. What could go wrong, they said. Double smoke. Where did you get this delicious bacon from, Stacey? Uh, Farm Town Meats in uh, Burnaby, just off the New Westminster border. Uh, Josh 
Josh is the butcher there. It's a real, it's a old school barber or butcher shop. Smells great. It's gonna taste even better. When you're watching like TV or whatever, like, you, always, like, you, put it on, you put it on your phone while you're watching TV. It's just like, is the TV not entertaining enough for you anymore that you now you need another screen to yeah. mindlessly scroll through Facebook or Instagram or whatever? Yeah. I think it's, I think the important boundary that we've got that we can't avoid it is that we, here, we can't check social media. Yes. Yeah. Yes. From what I understand, we have arranged for a couple of boat rentals to get out here on the lake. Yeah, me here. See some of the. Can you see that snow behind me there? Maybe. Now, if you've been following me on the socials and on the blog for some time, you might know that I don't know how to swim. I had that blog post I wrote about snorkeling for people that don't know how to swim. And now it's going to be boating for people that don't know how to swim. Keeping in mind that I don't know if I've ever shared this story, but I once went white water rafting on some river. Uh, I won't say white water rafting, but it was rafting and there were like these little drop-offs here and there and Obviously, I didn't feel the most confident, but the confidence kind of built up as we were on the river for some time and I guess I leaned out a little bit too much and I fell in and I feared for my life so It's probably not the smartest idea for me to go out on the water today in our boat rental but it probably also wasn't the smartest idea for me to go in this second time around for five dads go out either so we'll see oh yeah well see the one on the roof that's what change your expectations you know what it's Maybe I won't go out with you. <laughs> Believe me. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how good of a swimmer you are. If you're in that water, you're in trouble. Okay, so let's, let's not get in the water then. Oh, darn. How do you... Well, if you're gonna take one, you just, it's like a train, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a safety, a safety feature? I, yeah, I believe so. Did, did we lose a dad again? Hey, look at this. Can we stay here next time? Oh, it's a winter warming hut. This would not make This would be how open it is, so that would be cold. Warmer than outside, then. Eh? Warmer than outside. Well, yeah, you gotta be half center. Close. You, got, you, got, you got this thing going then, right? Mm -hmm. And all, all your basics are covered here? A broom? So the idea for going on a boating trip <laughs> got turned over. Uh, so instead, we went a little bit further, a little bit higher up the mountain. Uh, I think this is officially like a, the ski area. So when it's like really winter, when there's more snow, I think this is a, a cross-country skiing uh, trail. And if you go even further up the mountain, I think you get more of the downhill skiing. But yeah, I think there's this is a cross-country uh, trail. So we're just gonna do a little bit, a little bit of exploring down here.
go get us some nature. Well, I found the mushrooms for hot pot tonight. Hey, need a ride? Aren't you supposed to be dancing beside the car? <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> Is that a internet thing? Yeah. <laughs> all right. He's like, all right. You're like, you're leaning into it. <laughs> One dad goes wild. Two dads go wild. Three dads go wild. Is that the other? Yep. Four dads go wild. And then... At last! He has arrived. So, as has apparently become tradition for five dads go wild, it's hot pot night! So it's snowing again for night two, and I think this is even heavier than last night because I haven't even started getting ready to go to sleep tonight, and I can already see that the tent is probably going to collapse on me again. You see how it's weighted down on one side there? I don't know if you can, how well can you see that? There you go. And the other side's also pretty weighed down. This is probably not gonna bode well for me, but it'll be great content, they said. It'll be fun, they said. There might be deaths, they said. Oh no, no they, they, they never told me that part. So yeah, it is definitely snowing here on night two. This is a, there really is a distinct possibility that I'm gonna get caved in with the snow again. Uh, If you don't hear from me again, tell my wife and child I love them, but I don't know how you're gonna see this video because I won't be there to share this with you. So, yeah, just, just if you're seeing this video, I guess it means I'm okay. So, uh, hopefully, I'll, hopefully, oh, well, well, one of these guys, one of these guys will take the SD card from, 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 from my camera. Tell them my story, make sure I'm not forgotten. Home, sweet home, I guess. Okay, so I'm just settling in to sleep. Night two, it is still snowing outside. Hopefully this turns out. Good night. Oh, hey. Good morning. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so it's about. Okay, so it's about 7 o'clock in the morning after our second night here in the woods. Looks like my tent managed to survive the night. But, I don't know if you can see there, if I can move that. There's a bulge right there. And there's another one just above the camera over there where all the, uh, the snow has accumulated. But, looks like I didn't, <laughs> it looks like my tent didn't collapse overnight the second time, so. 
a little bit better. Yeah, so that's the tent collapsing on me just as I get out of it. Someone's gonna get the hell out first. Oh boy. And indeed, the tent has collapsed again. Oh, that's a joy. At least it didn't collapse on me this time while I was still inside. gloves. I got the snow off, but it is still snowing. Maybe my tent just gets more snow on it than the others. Cause here, let me turn this thing around. Let's see there. There's Dale's tent. And there's James' tent. And those are perfectly intact. There's Stacy's. Wait, where's Stacy's tent? Uh oh. Now I'm going to drink a little coffee. I like it when the coffee's ready. Yeah, thanks for making it. Five dads go wild, mug. Mug. There you go. <laughs> What? Now you see the snow. Where? It's snowing. Where? From the sky. Where? It's falling in. Where? Where's the snow? Show me the snow, James. I don't see it anywhere. Where's the snow, James? Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Michael. Would you like Michael. some bananas? Bananas foster. Lots of rum in that. Maybe put it inside your crepe. Pro. Puts my cold cut sandwich to shame. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it, re it really does. <laughs> yes. 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 Should we make another one? Sure. Oh, is there hot water inside? And this process started like 14 hours ago. 14 hours ago. Gotta make the crepe batter the night before. It's the only way to get perfect crepes. Bananas foster. Oh my god. This is Cheers. phenomenal. Mmm, this is amazing. It's like the best one I've ever eaten. Oh. That's not destruction. No, it just looks. No, you have to stab it. No, no, just like ruin it. <laughs> stab it. <laughs> oh, it's too beautiful. It's too beautiful. Stacy, you're ruining oh. everything. <laughs> there we go. Bananas Foster. Oh, all our jam. Peach crumble. Absolutely exquisitely. Mm. These are crepes made over camp stove in Manning Park. In the snow. While snowing. Well, the snow gently fell around us. 
not enough snow in there for those. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> Add a little bit more. Beauty. And at the same time, we can bulk ourselves up a little bit more. Mm. And we don't have the sleeves. Roll Wait, that was my fork. Get <laughs> my friend. Packing up, going home. Yeah. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Manning Park. Uh -oh. A little bit tighter? Uh, yeah. Okay. Point. Just turn this. Is and then gonna do. And you're gonna, do you want to come in on the end so you can no, quicker to get there? there? Move, move, move. Get some shoulder. Get some shoulder. How many is it shooting? One. Oh, I thought it was every two seconds. Yeah. One. Yeah, and then what happened? <laughs> See, I learned from my mistake.